Welcome to Bhutan, a land of happiness, mystery, and unique traditions. Nestled high in the Himalayas, this small kingdom holds secrets and customs that have captivated the world. Join us as we uncover some of the most fascinating and strange facts about this enchanting country. From its breathtaking landscapes and ancient monasteries to its unique approach to happiness and progress, Bhutan offers a glimpse into a world unlike any other. Prepare to be amazed by the wonders that await in this hidden Himalayan gem. Bhutan, often dubbed the Land of the Thunder Dragon, stands apart as a beacon of happiness in a world often consumed by material pursuits. Unlike most nations, Bhutan measures its success not by its gross domestic product, but by its gross national happiness, or GNH. This unique approach prioritizes the well-being of its citizens, preserving its rich cultural heritage and living in harmony with its stunning natural environment. Imagine a country where the government prioritizes the happiness of its people above all else. In Bhutan, this isn't a utopian dream, but a living reality. Gross national happiness, a concept deeply ingrained in Bhutanese society, guides the nation's development strategy. It emphasizes sustainable development, cultural preservation, environmental conservation, and good governance, all aimed at fostering a society where happiness flourishes. In Bhutan, happiness is more than just a feel-good factor. It's a constitutional right. The Bhutanese constitution mandates that the government must prioritize the happiness of its people in all its policies. This means that every decision, from economic policies to environmental regulations, undergoes rigorous scrutiny to ensure it contributes positively to the well-being of the Bhutanese people. A kingdom in the clouds. For centuries, Bhutan remained shrouded in mystery, hidden away from the outside world amidst the towering peaks of the Himalayas. It wasn't until the 1970s that this secluded kingdom began to open its doors to the world. This isolation helped preserve Bhutan's unique culture and traditions, making it a treasure trove of ancient wisdom and customs. The Peaceful Kingdom in a world often driven by conflict, Bhutan stands as a beacon of peace. The kingdom, with its deep-rooted Buddhist beliefs, has no standing army and harbors no military ambitions. Instead of investing in weapons and warfare, Bhutan channels its resources into the well-being of its people and the preservation of its natural heritage. The King's Abdication in 2006, the world watched in astonishment as the fourth king of Bhutan, Jigme Singye Wang Chuk, voluntarily abdicated his move, driven by the king's belief in democratic principles, marked a pivotal moment. Done ushering in a new era of constitutional monarchy. Where myths and reality intertwine. In Bhutan, the line between myth and reality blurs. The Bhutanese people hold a deep reverence for the supernatural, with ancient beliefs and folklore woven into the fabric of everyday life. Stories of mythical creatures, protective deities, and mischievous spirits are passed down through generations, adding a touch of magic and mystery to this enchanting land. Guardians of the Forest Bhutan's commitment to environmental conservation is not just a matter of policy, it's enshrined in its constitution. The law mandates that at least 60% of the country must remain forested for all time, ensuring the preservation of its pristine natural heritage. This dedication to protecting its forests has earned Bhutan the title of the world's only carbon-negative country, absorbing more carbon dioxide than it emits. the enigmatic Tarkin. High in the Himalayan slopes roams a creature as unique and mysterious as Bhutan itself, the Tarkin. This unusual looking animal, with its stocky build, long shaggy coat, and a face resembling a cross between a goat and an antelope, is Bhutan's national animal. The Tarkin, shrouded in local legends, embodies the country's rich biodiversity and commitment to wildlife preservation. A plastic free paradise. In a world drowning in plastic waste, Bhutan stands apart as a beacon of environmental responsibility. 
The Kingdom has implemented a strict ban on the sale and use of plastic bags, demonstrating its commitment to preserving its pristine environment. This forward-thinking policy has made Bhutan one of the cleanest nations on Earth. Uh, a breath of fresh air. Imagine a country where the air is so clean you can taste the freshness. Bhutan, with its lush forests, pristine rivers and commitment to environmental protection, is one of the few places on Earth that can make this claim. Its status as the world's only carbon-negative nation is a testament to its dedication to preserving its natural heritage for generations to come. The city without traffic lights. Timfu, Bhutan's charming capital city, boasts a unique distinction. It's one of the few capital cities in the world without traffic lights. Instead of relying on automated signals, traffic flow in Thimphu is managed by white-gloved policemen, adding a personal touch to this bustling city. Driving through Bhutan is an experience unlike any other, not just for its stunning scenery, but also for its unique road signs. These signs, often featuring humorous rhymes and witty messages, remind drivers to be cautious on the winding mountain roads. It's a testament to Bhutan's ability to inject humor and lightheartedness into everyday life. Bhutan's commitment to the well-being of its people extends beyond healthcare and education. It encompasses all aspects of life, including the fight against tobacco. As the world's only country with a complete ban on the sale and production of tobacco products, Bhutan has taken a bold stance against this global epidemic, prioritizing the health and happiness of its citizens. In Bhutan, mountains are more than just geological formations. They are considered sacred, home to deities and spirits. This reverence for nature is reflected in the country's strict ban on mountaineering. Gangkar Puensum, Bhutan's highest peak and the world's highest unclimbed mountain, stands as a testament to this belief, its summit remaining untouched by human footsteps. Imagine a country where everyone celebrates their birthday on the same day. In Bhutan, this isn't a fictional scenario, but a unique tradition. Every year on New Year's Day, all Bhutanese citizens officially become one year older, simplifying age calculations and fostering a sense of unity. Stepping into Bhutan is like stepping back in time where ancient traditions are woven into the fabric of everyday life. One of the most visible expressions of Bhutanese culture is the national dress, the go for men and the kira for women. These colorful and intricately designed garments are not merely costumes, but a source of national pride worn with elegance and grace. Bhutan's commitment to compassion extends beyond its human inhabitants to encompass all living beings. The kingdom has implemented a nationwide program to sterilize and vaccinate all stray dogs, becoming a model for animal welfare worldwide. This compassionate approach reflects Bhutan's deep-rooted Buddhist beliefs in the interconnectedness of all living things. While the rest of the world was speeding into the 20th century, Bhutan chose to remain cocooned in its Himalayan sanctuary. It wasn't until the 1960s that the first roads and automobiles were introduced to Bhutan. This self-imposed isolation helped preserve its unique culture and traditions, making it a living museum of ancient customs and beliefs. Traveling through Bhutan's countryside, you might be surprised to see brightly painted wooden phalluses adorning the walls of homes and buildings. These seemingly out-of-place decorations are not a crude joke, but a deeply rooted tradition. Believed to ward off evil spirits and bring good luck, these symbolic representations reflect Bhutan's unique blend of spirituality and superstition. Bhutan has taken a unique approach to tourism, one that prioritizes quality over quantity. The kingdom's high-value, low-impact tourism policy aims to minimize the negative impacts of mass tourism while maximizing the economic benefits for its people. This means limiting the number of tourists allowed to enter the country and charging a substantial daily tariff, ensuring that tourism contributes positively to Bhutan's development. Education is a cornerstone of Bhutan's development strategy, with the government investing heavily in improving literacy rates and providing quality education for all. 
Despite the challenges posed by its mountainous terrain and remote communities, Bhutan has made significant strides in expanding access to education, empowering its citizens with knowledge and skills for a brighter future. While television became a ubiquitous presence in most parts of the world in the latter half of the 20th century, Bhutan chose a different path. It wasn't until 1999 that television broadcasts were introduced to the kingdom, making it one of the last countries to embrace this technology. Bhutan's vibrant culture comes alive during its colorful and joyous festivals known as Chechus. These religious festivals, held in monasteries and zongs throughout the country, are a riot of color, music, and dance. Locals dress in their finest attire, participate in ancient rituals, and witness masked dances that tell stories of Bhutan's rich spiritual heritage. In Bhutan, the protection of wildlife is not just a matter of policy, it's a deeply held value. The kingdom has implemented strict laws to safeguard its endangered species with severe penalties, including life imprisonment, for those who harm these precious creatures. The black-necked crane, a symbol of longevity and good fortune in Bhutanese culture, is a testament to this commitment to conservation. Archery. A sport deeply ingrained in Bhutanese culture is more than just a pastime. It's a test of skill, precision and concentration. During competitions, archers don traditional attire, showcasing their skills with a bow and arrow while enjoying a festive atmosphere filled with music, food and friendly rivalry. The name Bhutan is believed to have originated from Sanskrit words meaning the end of Tibet or highlands reflecting its geographical location at the eastern edge of the Tibetan Plateau. This small but mighty kingdom, nestled amidst the towering peaks of the Himalayas, has long captivated the imaginations of explorers, adventurers and spiritual seekers. Reaching Bhutan is an adventure in itself. With only two national airlines and limited international connections, Travelling to this remote kingdom requires careful planning and a sense of adventure. The journey, however, is well worth the effort, rewarding travellers with an unforgettable experience in one of the world's most exclusive and culturally rich destinations. Flying into Paro International Airport in Bhutan is not for the faint of heart. Nestled amidst towering mountains and shrouded in clouds, this airport is considered one of the most challenging in the world to land in. Only a select group of highly skilled pilots are qualified to navigate the treacherous terrain and unpredictable weather conditions, making every landing a testament to human ingenuity and bravery. Bhutan's commitment to environmental preservation is not just a matter of policy. It's woven into the very fabric of its legal framework. The Bhutanese constitution mandates that at least 60% of the country must remain forested for all time, ensuring the preservation of its pristine natural heritage for generations to come. This far-sighted vision sets a global example of environmental stewardship. Bhutan's cultural landscape is as diverse as its Himalayan terrain and its approach to marriage reflects this diversity. Polygamy, while not as common as it once was, is still practiced in some parts of Bhutan. Men are allowed to have up to three wives, but only with the consent of their existing wives. While polygamy is permitted in Bhutan, it's not a free-for-all for husbands seeking multiple wives. The law protects the rights of the first wife, ensuring that she has a say in her husband's decision to marry again. If she does not consent, she has the right to seek a divorce and receive alimony. Our journey through the enchanting kingdom of Bhutan comes to an end, but the memories of its stunning landscapes, unique traditions and commitment to happiness will linger in our minds. From its ancient monasteries perched on clifftops to its vibrant festivals that fill the air with music and dance, Bhutan offers a glimpse into a world where spirituality, tradition and progress coexist in harmony. If you enjoyed this journey through Bhutan's unique and fascinating facts, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more incredible travel content. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below and stay tuned for more inspiring travel content.